Oh my wow, God. that is that is tough. Yeah, it's brutal. I'm not going to lie, it is, but it's fun as well. Well, you br we always used to say about Dancing on Ice is that you know you, you have a little bit of a pause every so often because you've broken everyone that was do it, and then you've got to wait for a, a whole new batch to come through. As far as you were concerned, the only way of Essex star James Locke suffered one of the most significant injuries of the series. He faced uh, off against Baden Chelsea's. Tristan Phipps, both were thrown off the platform. James hit the water so hard he resurfaced immediately with bruising. He was later treated in hospital for two broken <laughs> eye sockets. And That's staff weird. initially thought that Horrible. he'd been assaulted. I know, it's, it's a little bit of a freak accident though, because it was a platform above water, only about, you know, I think it was about three metres high, which is quite high. And it's just the way he unfortunately hit the water that he fractured both his eye sockets. Um, it was terrible, but he was a warrior. He carried on and yeah. because he lost the challenge, it meant he went into the elimination and uh, you'll see what happens and whoever loses that goes out. I mean, you sound like the perfect person to host this because if you weren't hosting it, I feel like you'd be brilliant at it. Like, do you watch them all doing it thinking, oh, I'd quite like to have a go at that? Yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head. I used to watch it when I was standing in America for a while. Um, it's a big show out there and I loved it and always said it's a show I'd love to take part in or if they brought it to the UK, could I host it? And it happened. Um, I love challenges. I love challenging myself. I love keeping fit. So this was like the dream show for me to host, mm -hmm. for sure, yeah. Well, you've got the, obviously, very difficult, um, gruelling challenges. Uh, you've got the sport aspect, which is great. Different aspects of the show. Then you put them in a house and they're all living together, so you've got all that that throws up. Yeah, so I said it was like all of my favourite shows in one. Mm -hmm. It's like the jungle, because you've got celebrities living in one place together, meets SAS, because the challenges are quite hard and quite brutal, but then lots of gorgeous singletons living in a villa together. It's a bit like Love Island, so it's like all mixed into one. It's and a that's the bit the that shows. I'm most intrigued about. So yeah. they all live together and they act, some of them actually do get together. Yeah, which well, I don't know. Until I get to the challenge site the next day and speak to the producers, I'm like, what happened overnight? And they're like, oh, these two hooked up. And I'm like, hang on, am I playing Scylla Black here or am I playing a sporting host? Yeah. yeah. I couldn't work it out at the time. So <laughs> does that get involved in the, in the challenges then? That, that, that can mess up. Um, well, there is, there is a lot of mind games in the challenge, so there's a lot of alliances that get formed, like, because you have to... Whoever wins the challenge sticks in uh, the couple that they want to go in against the losers. So if you're friends or you have, you've got a romantic relationship with someone, you're obviously not going to throw them in, although sometimes you'll see twists and it happens. You, like, try and say to someone, I'm your alliance, and there's a lot of mind games. There's a lot of... Um, so the villa and what happens in the villa does definitely depend when it comes to the challenges in the games. So there is betrayal as well. 100%, yeah. But then you think, like, this is my pal, we've spoken about it, we're not going to throw each other in, but then if you feel like they're a threat and you've got the power because you've won the challenge, you're going to throw them in because you don't want to be against them. God, it utterly exhausting. You went to, um, is it Argentina? Argentina, you yeah. So everybody went out there. Yes, yeah, so it was. A, I've never been to Argentina. Uh, it's one of those places that just felt like you're completely immersed into the culture. Yeah. Eating steak every day, red wine. It was amazing. It was an amazing experience. But um, the show was just, yeah, just so fun. What I loved about it, I always say, if you want to host a show, you want to host something you're passionate about mm. and you feel like you could take part in. Yeah. And just stood back watching these challenges, like, live, it was the most entertaining thing ever. Because, obviously, they're cut down when you watch the show. They went on for hours when we were doing them. Not one moment was I bored. I was like, come on, and just cheering from the sidelines. Wow. It was incredible. So I assume that this is going on all over the place because there is a, f a final, a grand final, yeah. uh, which is in <laughs> South Africa. Yep. Uh, I think we see that in March. Yes, that's correct. March the 9th that comes out. So the winners of our show, the winners yeah. of Australia, the winners of Argentina and the winners of America go into the World Championships, which is airing on Paramount Plus on March the 9th. Um, and our winners, plus a couple of MVPs that we choose to go, will go. I can't reveal who that is yet, because yeah, you'll know who the winners yeah. are of our show. Although, if you stream it now on Paramount+, Plus, you can see the whole series anyway, so you'll know. And, the, and the, I don't want to know who the winners are, but do you reckon they are good enough to take on the world? All right, I'm going to... I'll say something now, actually. When we were shooting the show, they'd already shot the American show and the Australian show, and then we were next on set. And a few producers who, just competitively, they were American, and they were like, look, I'm just going to let you know, Mark, the English guys, they're not going to be able to keep up with our Americans because they sent some of their MVPs who have done the challenge like 10 times because they bring back people that have What's won What's an before. MVP? Just like the best, basically. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, so but that's what they call it. Oh, so right. basically... Uh, <laughs> sorry, Most American Right, got, yeah. it, got, it, got, it, got <laughs> it, got 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 it. Makes sense. Did you just get that in the ear? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's an American term, so why, why did you become a TV presenter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't know what it was until I did this show either. Um, so, um, yeah, they bring back these great players, and they did say yeah. to us that 
your English guys aren't going to be able to keep up. And it started to annoy me after a while, because I was like, why do you keep saying it? Like, these guys are smashing it, they're going to be good. And then I obviously know what happens at the World Championships as well, because I was there for, the, uh, for a couple of eps. So the Brits do a right, let's just say that, but I can't say anything more. OK. Mm, good. So, it sounds, so you've got this big set in Argentina, yep. and then so the Australians go in, they shoot their series, they move out. So it's, everyone's using the same stuff. Same crew, same everything. Yeah. It's an American crew, yeah, and, you know, they obviously had to be patient with us because we don't know the format, whereas yeah. their host, uh, TJ Lavin, he's done it, like, 38 seasons now, I think, in America. So, Good yeah. Well, it sounds really good. Well, nice to then come home from travelling to your wonderful home that we follow on Instagram. <laughs> uh, it looks beautiful. It's taking you a long time, hasn't it, to do yeah, this? Yeah, it's taken a... Well, to be fair, it took about 18 months to have it finished. Yeah. My dad uh, did the bill for me, so I had Look his... Look at that. Kind I mean, of, that's um... like a Christmas card. <laughs> Is it, is it done? Is it finished now? That's not my hallway, by the way. I've only uh, got one staircase, just yeah. so you know. Uh, um, it, it, it's, just a random yeah, hallway. Yeah, it's one that it was Google an inspiration picture hallway. that I posted on Instagram. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. So that's the confusion. Uh, it is basically all done. There's a few snagging bits to do, and I've got to finish the garden, but it's been a very, very stressful time. Yeah. But at the same time, really fun and, uh, yeah, lovely. And would you do it again? I say no, but then when I sat down here before we started, you both said you will. And look, who knows? My dad was in charge of the build, so if I ever did it again, you know, I know that I've got he's, you know, he's there. It's very important to have someone who's got your best yeah. interest at heart doing it. So that's why I would feel safe doing it again, but not yet. And also, so you stressful. you were very good because you sort of think about future proofing it and solar panels and things yeah. like that. You've kind of considered all of that. As yeah, well. we've got solar panels there and just doing everything we can to be, yeah, future proof. For We've sure. done that with your car as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've got an, uh, a little electric smart car. I saw they ran a story on the other day. Listen, it's great fun. Whizzes around, it's lovely. It's electric, charge it at night. It's like your iPhone. You get home at night, <laughs> stick it on charge, because this one doesn't do that many miles. So right. you drive it into London and back for work, stick it on charge at night, take it off in the morning, and away you go. Park it anywhere. Yeah. Oh, very good. And uh, what about other telly, then? Um, what, uh, what else you got going? I've got a show that's coming out in early summer with my dad and my brother. We travelled um, the country for BBC One. Uh, it's kind of a moment for us to make up for lost time. My dad had a hard time during COVID. He had a really bad uh, batch of it. He was in hospital for a while and his brother actually lost his life through oh, COVID. God, so we, it was me and my brother taking him away and showing him that, you know, it's not over yet. We can still have fun and... Building back up. Yeah, that's a good idea. That will yeah. come out soon. It was a, re it was a really, really, probably my favourite thing I've ever done just because emotionally it was just us three on the yeah, boat. Yeah, lovely. Um, my mum and our wives weren't there. It was just us three boys just, just together. together catching oh, up. Oh, well, come and tell us about that yeah. over the time You'll when that definitely. goes out. Love to Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank the you Challenge UK Paramount Plus, it's all there. And thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.